He's 4-3 up and with throw. And as long as that remains the case in this match, Sid, he'll win it. He came into this final 96. with a better average than he's ever had. In 2002, Till had a 102.5 average over all matches in the World Championship. He came in with 103.4. Barney and he are now locked 100. at 99.5. Yeah, and a fantastic last start, but uh, for every ton that Taylor hits, Barnevelt has got to hit a 140. For every 140 Taylor hits, Barnevelt has got to respond with a 180. Absolute superb final. Barney came over in February of this year, nine daughter in the Premier Parks League, was welcomed by the lads. I don't know why. I don't know why, John. I was welcome in the Pussy Super League. Forty-four behind here then Taylor. Therefore, needs a score. We'll be careful here not to land on 140. <laughs> There's not a lot he can do about it, mind you. 137. He's gonna land on a bogey, whatever, Sid. He'll be just happy to have hit the big score. Beautiful, beautiful control. Magic, this one is in. I just knew he is creaming till on the 60 goes in. For the first time at Big League, 100.6 Barney plays 99.9. .9. Game on now. Fantastic. Uh, and this is pivotal, this leg. It really is. Barnevelt has been in control now for so long. He had all three legs in the previous set. And now against the throw, 81 wanted for a crucial break. 16 on the bull. The biggest bull in this match so far. And he gets it. He gets it. What a shot. Four goes by Taylor in the ball. Barney in the pivotal Second moment gets it. This is Bedlam. This is brilliant. And look at the look on Barnevelt's face. There's the ball. But the look on his face a moment ago. One of I'm right back in this match. And then Lord Nair's showing all that. He lets Taylor back in, Sid. Having gone out 81 on the ball, he only then scores 30. Dream final. Taylor's taking the game to areas where we never thought he would take it. He's a master of the game. But there's another master up there. A Dutch master. Well, you've got to say, 30 from Barnevelt, 140 from Taylor, and all that hard work could be wasted, but he's making amends to a certain extent. Brilliant dart from the Dutchman. Oh, yes. And one of these maximums is 500 credit charity, nominatable by the winner. Taylor in the 60. But missing. Barney is fluent as I've ever seen him on that 60. He's only 30 behind here. So if he could put a score in, great cover shot. Another one will do nicely. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant darts from Barney now. On the ropes now. All right, he's leading 4 3, but Barney has been punching the better. Looks like interesting. One hundred and forty. That's the win. Right, and you require one hundred and fifty seven. So, one hundred and fifty seven. Can't check out now. It may be that Taylor will hit hard with a one two one, but if he doesn't, Barnevelt should win this leg. Again, the brilliant use of the dipping dart by Barney. That could decide this match. Trouble 17 and the ball. Barney to go to the pole position. In a set that could equalize the match. Mrs. Taylor is looking a bit sick. Yes, he got this a few minutes ago. Inside, so double fives a must. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Oh, dear, dear, dear. He knows the importance of that, Sydney boy. So does he. The double eight after Barney did the impossible with a dart. How it missed, I don't know. Once, fat 16. Double thereof. And that's what I meant a few minutes ago when I said the number of times that Taylor has picked up the
the double with the third dart, whether he's had three darts at it, two darts at it, or in that case, one dart at it, he's picked it off, and that can so often hurt the man standing behind. I mentioned the scoring factor, which at the moment is favouring Barney, but the Bristol factor also. Taylor has no negative vibes, a bad shot, He's forgotten quick and he's in the cream soon after. Like a fat cat. Yeah, standing at the back, whether you're watching the game or not, you hear thud, thud. And you then, when the third thud goes in, hope not to hear 100. game. And all too frequently, <laughs> he does. Taylor came out with the orange shirt, trying to hook the Barney fans. He's going back to a straight white shirt now. Well, uh, Daddy's in the moment. I don't know whose father he is. Oh! Fanny Daddy knows he is. That's a Well, he's had one in each leg in this particular set, Barnavelt, and uh, now he's caught Taylor up in the 180 stakes. Level on the ton pluses. Barney ahead on the ton 40s. And level on the ton 80s. There you have it. Absolute what a game. Taylor went off. Blitz him. First two sets. I didn't think he was going to about an hour ago. Anybody's game now? Got to use this slide well. Got to under dip. 65. Well, I did say the other day when he was playing against Colin Lloyd, uh, Sid. I didn't know whether my English was correct or not. In fact, I, probably not. But I said, Barney is one of the best fighter backers in this sport. And uh, I've seen nothing tonight to make me change my mind, whatever the outcome. Well, you're a fighter, and the, the bookies know you're a backer, John. <laughs> I take your word on that. Right, and you require 156. Well, this would be very nice indeed if he could get two treble 20s, because double 18 would beckon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I'm looking. Oh, no. Time again, it's a fulcrum in the game. He wants 20. Double 16 to go in pole position. Sadie, it. it's the green bit. Yeah. Green bit it is! Bill Taylor!